Hello everyone, my name is Soft Sharp. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Halo Infinite and I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to set up some navigation markers so that you can get them set up in your own games and make it easier for people to understand what they're supposed to be doing. Um, to start off, I'm going to show you a couple examples of, of ways that I'm implementing this into my own map. Um, since the Forge came out, I've really only been working on one, which you know, it, it's a lot of work to get navigation markers working the way you want. So I'm going to try making it as simple and speed speedily for you guys um, so right here we have this bomb and it has a little objective marker on it saying that you know this is your bomb it's awesome uh, when you get within a vicinity of it and pick it up you get to see another objective marker just another, another example of a marker and so I'll show a couple more don't mind the explosions all right uh, after a couple seconds, I set up a couple more, a couple more navigation markers to be thrown into the map, and so we're just gonna climb over here and go check them out. After I get over this wall, all right, uh, we have occupied these spaces. So if you get inside them, it completes its circuit. There you go. And then here's another example. This one says break. And so with these different types of navigation markers, you can tell people what to do and understand how to, how to play the game. And so, you know, same thing. You go over here and you start you know, slicing. Okay, and now what we're gonna do to put the navigation markers on, we're gonna start off by getting a brain. To find a brain, you're gonna go into the object browsers and go down to gameplay, look for script scripting, pull up a brain and spawn it in. At this point, um, I already have another one set up. So what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna grab the object that we're wanting to reference, which is the fusion coil. I'm gonna bring it over to the brain while they're both connected. I'm gonna hold Y if you're on a controller and go up to the node graph. Okay, now that we're inside the brain with our two objects, we're going to add them to the script. You're gonna press Y if you're on a controller and you're going to add object re references. You press that button and you get yourself the script brain and the fusion coil. I'm gonna hover over this and delete the brain and then I'm gonna drag the fusion coil over to the rest of our nodes. Um, at this point, you're gonna go in here and you're gonna press Y. You're gonna add more nodes and you're gonna find all of these. You're looking for on gameplay and on, I that. You are looking for on gameplay start. You're looking for attach nav marker to object, uh, set a nav marker text, set nav marker team visibility. And you're looking for the nav marker, set nav marker team and set nav marker enabled and a vector three. Okay, to further explain these all, we're gonna start off by going into the on gameplay start so when the game starts we're going to start an action this action or these triangles represent uh, your your action and it's going to go from one action to another so gameplay start attach a nav marker to an object what type of uh, nav marker are we attaching so we need identifier and so this is going to be associated to all of these saying that uh, this is the identifier of nav or so uh, n1 and so we're going to plug it into here we're also going to plug it into all of our other ones. So all of these are associated with this single nav marker. Brilliant. Okay. Um, how to change the, the identifier. You're going to click on this and you're going to press uh, the X button and scroll over to N1. Uh, once, once you have that, or sorry, it won't say N1. First, it'll be blank and you'll, you'll have to type it in or type something. You get to name what this is called. I just call it N1 because simpl simplicity. All right, uh, going back to this, we need to go up here because it's, this one's not done yet. So attach nav marker to an object. What type of object are we doing? This object, we're gonna do the fusion coil. Um, and it's also gonna need that vector three. Vector three is gonna say, where on the object are you trying to place it? So from its origin point, which is gonna be zero, zero, zero. You're going to have uh, the X, Y, Z coordinates. It doesn't have to be very big at first because you just kind of want it on your objective or if you want it above, you can have it higher, like like the Z coordinate is up and down, X and Y is left and right, forward, backwards. You get the idea. Um, <clears throat> so now that we have this node completely done, we can move on to the next. And what we wanna do, uh, I'm actually gonna do the team one, so I'm gonna scooch these ones over a little bit go okay and we're going to drag our set team nav marker and we're just going to connect it from here to here 
And this one, same thing, you're gonna highlight over it, press X, go over to the, the team, and you're gonna set it to which team you want to see the objective. And on this one, we want Cobra, which is team two. Then since this, this nav marker is complete, we'll continue using our diamonds to the next objective. All right, um, on this one, we can do a similar action. Hover over it, press X, change the, the keyword, and you can have so many different options for different types of objective markers. And that's how I got all those different nav markers at the beginning of this video. So you got zones, you got zealots, you've got treasures, you got torches, you got survivors, you've got all these different options. And you're gonna make some freaking awesome games. Um, at this point, we can add in a, a gift. We can say if the nav marker is enabled or off. And I set it to true because I want people to see it. And then we have set nav marker team visibility to team two, and all the other teams cannot see it. So voila. Okay, we're gonna go into test mode. And there you go. The bomb is placed above the fusion coil and now it has an objective marker on it it's perfect if you have any problems or if you're, you're wondering about other stuff feel free to ask in the comments below um, I'll do my best to either answer it or maybe off to even make more videos um, I'm definitely gonna be making a lot more videos and I hope you guys you know stick around and, and see all that content you know feel free to hit that like and subscribe button my name's soft stay sharp for the next video I'll catch you next time